Thank you to Jif for collaborating with us on this video. So when I caked the jar of Jif peanut butter, and it was so awesome that Jif reached out to us because they have a new product. Just look at him. It's my main squeeze. Um, actually, you know, I have to say something, Jocelyn. You know who was not pleased about this Jif Simply Squeeze? Sir Squeeze is not gonna be happy. And I was like, you're filled with simple syrup and he's filled with peanut butter. I need you both, there's, there's no competition. You guys have seen me make a lasagna, but have you seen me make a peanut butter lasagna? Say what? A peanut butter lasagna. The answer is, is the answer is no. It's a thing now. It's a thing now, thanks to me and my GIF squeeze. I know you guys are skeptical. You can, I can see it on your faces, but this cake is gonna be that GIFing good. To make this cake, I started by baking two rectangular chocolate cakes. These are gonna act as like the noodles in the lasagna. My cakes have been baked, cooled, chilled, and I've removed them from their pans. I'm going to level them and layer each one into two. So I have two, forget it. It's like, it's a fresh new year and I still can't add. I have four layers of chocolate cake. I don't just wanna put peanut butter in this lasagna. I want some other peanut buttery elements as well. So I've decided to make some peanut butter cookies that are really simple. They're just three ingredient peanut butter cookies. I made these using Jif. It was really easy to measure out my peanut butter because I just squeezed it directly into my measuring cup and then leveled it with a spatula and some sugar and an egg. It's so simple. You just whisk an egg and then you start to whisk in your sugar and then you start to, of course, whisk in your peanut butter and it already starts to come together. And then you simply roll it into balls and use that, you know, that patented fork move on the peanut butter cookie. Is it, is it patented? I, I feel like it should be. So. Do that with peanut butter cookies. I have no idea. None whatsoever. It's weird because everyone does do that. Like you do not see a peanut butter cookie without the fork. Yeah, part. you don't just see a flat peanut butter cookie. It's no. weird. Now I just need to bake these cookies at 350 degrees. They took only 10 minutes. It's really, really simple. It's one of those recipes. It seems too simple to work. Like when you read it, you're like, this isn't gonna work out. And were they good? They're really good and they totally worked. I also want to use my peanut butter frosting as the sauce. I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done this in 2021 yet, have I? You haven't, <sighs> yeah. My peanut butter frosting is really easy to make. It's just peanut butter, butter, icing sugar, and cream. I also love cream. I don't give cream enough shine. If you had to choose between cream or butter. Oh, butter. Like cream is great, right? You can whip it, you can put it on top of desserts, you could just have it on strawberries. It's fantastic. But butter, like butter on bread is like, honestly, you know, you know. Okay. To make the frosting, the first thing you do is beat together the butter and the peanut butter. We got two butters in the mixer. So you just beat them together till they're nice and smooth. It's really important that your butter is room temperature. You don't wanna see chunks of butter in the peanut butter. Then you can start to spoon in your icing sugar on low speed and let that incorporate. And at the end, you can add your cream. So even there, you have the ability to you know, keep an eye on your frosting. And if you think the cream is too much because it seems sort of soft, then just don't add it all. It's time to go back to those four layers of cake and I will bring in Sir Squeeze now to help me simple syrup them. I always simple syrup my cake layers. This keeps them moist while I'm decorating, especially in the case of a cake like this because it's open faced and a lot of air will get to your cake. So this just locks in the moisture. So I started to think about everything I like eating with peanut butter. I think that's why Sir Squeeze is so jealous actually, because peanut butter goes with a lot of things and Sir Squeeze could sense that. So I started to think about all the things that I like eating with peanut butter. So right off the bat, my favorite thing to eat with peanut butter is pretzels. And then something else, of course, I think everybody likes this, is peanut butter and jam. Now, I prefer jam to jelly. I'm just telling you all like it is. I don't even think about the difference between jam and jelly, so thank you. There's a huge difference. Jelly involves no pieces of fruit. I want the texture. Yeah. And also, my preferred jam is raspberry because I like the tartness with the peanut butter. But some people argue that you should have strawberry jam with peanut butter. You agree with strawberry? Of course you do. Jenga just sits around like, oh, what did they say? I'm gonna say the opposite. <laughs> 
That's what you do. <laughs> I don't agree with this argument. I don't either, but it exists. And you know what I thought? I'm just gonna make it a double berry peanut butter experience. Why can't I do that? And then something else I really, really love with peanut butter is honey and bananas. So to begin layering this lasagna, I've put down my first layer of simple syrup cake. I'm going to spread a luscious layer of peanut butter frosting. Normally when I spread frosting, I always want to clean the sides, right? Because eventually I'm going to ice the cake. But in this case, I don't want to do that. So I'm making sure to just spread the frosting so it's slightly over the edge of my cake layer. Now it's time for me to lay down some salted pretzels. Uh, one of the reasons I love the Jif to go cups is because when I don't have time to just quickly throw together a peanut butter lasagna, you know, I can still have have that pretzel peanut butter taste. I'm gonna sprinkle on a whole bunch of chocolate chips and then don't forget about those peanut butter cookies. I'm going to cut my cookies into quarters and I'm going to fill the layer with bits of peanut butter cookies. I could have stopped right here and just had this. Just like when I'm building any mega cake, because the goodies I just put on top won't stick to the next layer of cake, I need something that will make it stick. This is where Sir Squeeze got really upset. So I just squeezed this Jif peanut butter right onto the first layer of cake that I built. I did like a diagonal, almost like drizzling, but squeezing. It's time to add another layer of cake, spread some more peanut butter frosting, and this layer is my jam. I'm going to spoon on some raspberry jam first, and then I'm gonna spoon on some strawberry jam. And now I'm going to lay on some cut strawberries, fresh raspberries, and of course, those three ingredient peanut butter cookies. This layer looked beautiful because it looks colorful. And I love the red because it sort of made me think of lasagna. The sauce, yeah, yeah. It, it really did. I'm gonna move on up. I'm gonna add another layer of cake, spread some more peanut butter frosting, and this is the layer where Jengus got very upset. But I'm going to squeeze on the honey now. Oh, Jengus doesn't like honey at all. And yeah, so when I got to this layer, he told me like this is where it all went wrong. <laughs> Wow, Jengis, that's a little hard. Let me tell this you, is this is a trigger for him. Let me We're tell triggering. You why I hate honey? It's because of my mother. You're blaming your mother. Yes. We're leaving this in the video. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because when I was a child, she would bring all these most disgusting honeys from most disgusting. Yes, honeys. all different regions of the country in Turkey, and she would force me to eat them, and they were disgusting, but I had to eat them. She did that for you and your health. That's it's why not, she did I don't think it helped me with my health. <laughs> when I stopped eating honey, I got healthier, I'm just saying. I really have to say, like, our version of a bad childhood memory is very different. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have gone to honey. Being forced to eat honey. My, I won't get it. How tomorrow. terrible for you. <laughs> How sick, terrible. So I squeezed the honey all over the peanut butter frosting. And, and again, Sir Squeeze was like more squeezing because the honey was also in a squeeze bottle. Oh, wow. He thinks I'm squeezing him out of a job. Get it? <laughs> Get it? I get it, I get it, you. And now I'm going to slice some bananas, lay them on top. You wanna do this right at the last minute because as we know, bananas and air, not really friends. So you wanna sandwich that into the cake. And then I just felt like, you know what? It needs more chocolate. You know that I love peanut butter and chocolate. So I also put chocolate chips on that layer. And of course, it's time to squeeze more Jif onto the top. Peanut butter is so good because it pairs with so many different things. It's the perfect mate. The team thought I should get out of my bubble and try peanut butter with some new things. Why do I have the feeling this is going to be interesting? <laughs> All the things that you're gonna try it with, we found, you know, great reviews for on the internet. Cause you can always trust the internet. Of course, it's very reliable. Everything on the internet is a fact. <laughs> and so it must be true. Let's go with that. So I'd like to jump right in if you're ready. Sure, I think I'm ready. Yolanda, do you have your Jif squeeze bottle? Are you ready to add peanut butter? To I the do. Place? I also have like a gallon of water to help me get through this. Perfect. The first item is a slice of cheese pizza. Thank you, Jengis. Thank you. Let's do this. No, don't skimp on that peanut butter, yo. I'm not. I'm, I tried to draw a heart, but it's not quite a heart. Okay. The things I do for this channel. No, make sure you get a good enough bite. <laughs> oh, second 
second bite. Okay, what does it taste like? I've never tried it. Of course you've never tried it. It tastes like peanut butter on pizza. Okay, yo, so you either can rate it as that jiffing good okay. or pass. So what would you rate it if you had to? It's honestly, it's that jiffing good. Okay, yes. I'm surprised. Yeah, okay. Okay, so the next one to me is like a step up from pizza. Peanut butter on a hamburger and fries. Oh, it's it. the burger has bacon too. There's also onion rings. Why am I volunteering that? I don't even know what to do. Hold on. Okay, let me put some peanut butter on the burger. You know, I know this is peanut butter, but I'm a dipper. Just like if it was ketchup, I'm gonna squeeze a pile. I don't know what to bite first. Okay, I'll go for the burger. Hold on. I gotta get bacon, lettuce, onion. I'm just reevaluating the life choices that led me here. I, I think it's that jiffing good. What? I thought I was I thought I was gonna lose it. This is so weird. Okay, fries are amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that jiffing good. How can something taste bad with a French fry? Now I'm not looking forward to the onion ring. Yeah, that's a pass. Oh wow, the first pass. I think part of it is the onion ring is cold. Got it's it. on the verge of getting soggy. It's not the peanut butter's fault, it's the onion ring. Correct. Fault. I blame it solely on the onion ring. Fair. This one I've heard of a lot. I'm very curious. Pickles. Oh, come on. Thank you. Now, you know that I love pickles, right? I hope this doesn't ruin pickles for me. I'll be very upset. I... You know what? The pickle like erases the peanut butter. Oh, so maybe you should add a little more peanut butter. Why do I talk? No. Mm -mm. It's a pass. Okay, this one's interesting. As opposed to everything else I just ate? There should be a piece of toast with sriracha on it there. Yep. I actually am foreshadowing that I'm gonna like this. Yeah, I feel like this is a, this makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to talk and eat peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's that jiffing good. You know why? You know what my favorite food is? It's Thai food. Like my least favorite part of this is the toast. But like I love that flavor of peanuts and heat. I absolutely love it. This, this was good. We should have had more of this and less pickle. If you had to choose, which one was your favorite? The french fry. Like by far, the french fry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Grab your favorite GIF product at the link below and let me know what you pair with your GIF squeeze. I'm not gonna try it, I'm just interested. And now I'm adding the top layer of cake. This is the last layer of cake and spreading peanut butter frosting on top. And then I started to think, how do I want the top of this lasagna to look? So what I did is I had raspberries, strawberries, peanut butter cookies, pretzels, chocolate chips, and I just started creating rows of all those ingredients along the top. And of course, I squeezed more Jif on top, just in case you don't get that this is a peanut butter lasagna. Now, if you wanna use your GIF to make my peanut butter cake, then check out my Cake and Icing Basics program. It's completely free, and it's one of over 10 recipes that are my core recipes. I use these recipes to build all my cakes. There are video tutorials with full step-by-step -step instructions and even suggestions on how you can pair up your recipes. Click here to sign up for my free program. So there you have it. This is my peanut butter lasagna. And if you think it looks that jiffing good, then let me know in the comments below. Use that jiffing good as your hashtag. And you know what? Make this yourself. You don't have to make it this big. Thank you to Jif for collaborating with us on this video. If you still need more cake after all this cake, click here.